Nick and I started so innocent. We would go to work outings together and sit close by and talk. I started sitting in his lap and we had some light touching, but nothing too severe. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I grow with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Guys, it's good to be back. It's been a few weeks since I've done a show. I definitely had a lot going on in the beginning of the year. I was making a few uh, changes to this channel, as I'm sure you've noticed in the beginning. And uh, now I'm going to be back to doing shows two to four times a week, because I know a lot of you guys enjoy hearing these crazy stories. So thank you very much for bearing with me and sticking with me, even though it's been about uh, three, three and a half weeks. So today, I'm going to go over a story titled, My Husband Knows About My Six-Month-Long Affair But Hasn't Told Me. What Can I Do? And guys, this story, this is one of these stories where the wife, she's been cheating on the husband for six months. And, and yet she yet she's been doing this. And that you're going to see this guy is a good husband to her on, on so many fronts. Too good, actually. She finds out that guess what? He knows about he knows about it. And not only does he know about it, he's known about it for a while and has been documenting it. Okay? And now she is made out to be the victim. Like, she wants pity for how the fact that her situation is crazy because he knows all about it and what can she do and all that. And, oh, I'm such a horrible person. It's ridiculous. Okay? It's unbelievable. She she really is a piece of crap. Okay? And you're going to see more of this as I get into this because this guy, like I said, you can see here, he's a good guy. But the problem is, as you're going to quickly connect, or at least what I connected, too good to her. And this is what we get. So... I'm going to jump right into it. She says, okay, so maybe let's start out with a little background. My husband and I first met when I was right out of college in a new city. He swept me off my feet, and from our first date, it was magic. Oh, God, she's one of those. We married three years after that, and now we have an eight-year-old daughter. We both work pretty great jobs, and between caring for our daughter and work, work responsibility, we are both busy people. But he always made me made time for me and treated me like royalty, even when I didn't do the same. What does that say? He's a nice guy. And I like nice guys. I like nice guys are because generally nice guys, there's nice guys and there's nice guys. Nice guys are just friendly guys that would do things for people and they're good natured and all that. And then there's nice guys and the way women describe them. They're the ones that are pushovers and treat them too well. And even though they're being mistreated, still treat the girl like the queen, put her on the pedestal, kiss her butt, and don't stand up for themselves. And they lose respect from the women and the women either break up with them, treat them like crap, or cheat on them. Or pretty much all three. And you're going to see this is what we got here. <clears throat> Around the beginning of 2019, I became familiar with one of my co-workers, Nick. He's about my age and has a wife of three kids of his own. Familiar? Is that what she's calling it? She says, Nick and I started so innocent. We would go to work outings together and sit close by and talk. I started sitting in his lap and we had some light touching, but nothing too severe. What do you mean there's nothing too severe about you sitting in his lap? I hope you're not doing, sitting in his lap during work outings. That might be a problem, make a lot of other coworkers uncomfortable. You got to be kidding me! And meanwhile, this is while the husband's treating her like royalty, and they have an eight-year-old daughter. If you're not happy in the relationship, break up with the guy. End it. End the story. Don't do these awful things to pe people that treat you well. There's so many pieces of garbage in this world. It's unbelievable to me. Nothing too severe. I guess you reminded me of when my husband and I were young, there was a passion in Nick's eyes that drew me close to him. Are you writing a romance novel, lady? Eventually, we started sleeping together. I knew, I knew during the whole time it was wrong, but I pushed through, never once thinking about the impact it could have on my husband. You didn't give a crap. How about also your eight-year-old daughter? How about that? You're hurting her as well. And she said when we were young, you're 36, okay? You're not... A spring chicken, but you're not an old lady either. This morning started off as usual. My husband gets into the shower before me every day, and I snooze before I have to hop in too. He mentioned last night that he was going to stop by Costco on the way home from work today, so I grabbed my husband's phone so I could add to the shopping list a few things that I wanted. I know my husband's iPhone lock code, so I went into the Notes app to add what I wanted. And when I opened the app, I opened to a folder with dates listed on it. Huh, what could she find? 
The day started the first week of March and continued unabated until last week. I curiously opened one of the dates around my, and, and to my shock, it was a diary. So not only is she cheating on the guy for six months, and let's in essence cheating on the family, cheating on the daughter, she's also a snoop. Of course she knows that the code to his phone. Of course she's now snooping around. Because remember, people that are cheaters assume everybody else is a cheater. And a lot of times in these stories I go over where the gal accuses the guy of doing all these things when he wasn't doing it all because that's just her mindset of how the world is. She said, I never knew my husband as the type of person to write out his thoughts and emotions. I read through the first couple entries of his diary and it broke my heart. Oh, poor baby. The diary is all about in my, my infidelity and how my husband was processing it. Looking at the dates that, that were listed, he discovered my affair about a month after it became physical. I quickly locked his phone and hid it. When he came out of the shower, I helped him look for the phone that I hid. My husband has a work phone and a personal phone, so he was unfazed about not being able to find it. He was on a time crunch and left the house with his only work phone. So he's known for five months, and he hasn't said anything? Now, I feel bad for the guy in the sense that obviously he's a good man and she's doing this to him. I do feel bad from there. But also, on the on the other hand, it's like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? You don't confront your wife. Five months, some dude's boning your wife, unless he's keeping track of her, all her exploits, to eventually then, you know, use it to clean up in court. Then that's different. But even then, five months, some dude's boning your wife, unless he's completely just, just, just done with her. You know, who knows? But seriously says here says I called off work that day and read each diary entry I feel like I may vomit almost each entry for the last, for the first three months he discovered my affair were and <laughs> she wrote this a little off guys I feel like I may vomit almost each entry for the first three months he discovered my affair were about how he planned on making her fall in love with me again. He had detailed this in his diary, the plans he'd make me to forget about Nick. He talked about us taking a week-long vacation so I, could, I couldn't see him and how he brought, brought me my favorite flowers and cooking my favorite dish so I could, I could continue, but I'd continue to see Nick. So this guy, he's doing, he's doing the ultimate nice guy approach. That even though his wife's being nailed by her co-worker, he's going to plan all these nice things to do to win her back. What do you mean win her back? She's awful. She's a piece of garbage, but... Sadly, this guy probably thinks so little of himself to think that this is all he's worth. And this is obviously what is shown in movies and TV. you got to do all these nice things to get the girl. Well, not when somebody's treating you like this all these months. And she's talking about how she feels like she's going to vomit during this whole thing. Well, you know, you deserve that a lot more. This guy's a weak man, but he's obviously a, he's a good man. And, and you're doing this to him? As the time went on and I continued to tell lies to my husband, he would write in the diary about how his resolve is beginning to waver, how he's becoming depressed and feels so lonely and unloved. That sucks. This poor guy. This guy needs a good friend that he can confide in that can help set him straight. Family member, somebody else. But you can imagine how humiliating it would be to you know, tell somebody about this. After three months, the diary entries became wholly about his depression and how he cries every time he knows I am with Nick. It writes how every night before falling asleep, he has visuals of Nick's body on top of mine and how the visuals make him feel physically ill. He keeps writing in his diary how he doesn't want our daughter to grow up with a divorced parents like he did. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. He grew up in a divorced household, know how, knew how messed up it was, and he doesn't want to do, want his daughter to go through the same thing. So he's going to put on all this, this misery on his shoulders for his child because he doesn't want her to grow up like that. It's interesting that... He grew up in a household that was divorced, and obviously there were reasons that led up to the divorce. And he married a woman where one thing led to another, and now they're obviously going to get divorced. Okay, This is why, guys, I say so many times that if you're in a bad marriage and there's no love there or there's cheating going on and there's fighting and carrying on and people stay in it only for the kids because they don't want the kids to be hurt, it's better to break up as soon as possible because those kids are going to observe mom and dad pissed off at each other, fighting, screaming, yelling, all that stuff, drama, way worse as you can imagine. And they may end up in relationships like that in the future that can lead to the same thing right here. Now, I don't know what went on with his parents, but seriously. <clears throat> there was a diary entry from one month ago that stopped me in my tracks, though. In the entry, my husband talks about how one night when I was with Nick 
and he put Ardar to bed. He was crying to himself like usual, but the tears stopped flowing. He says that his body finally stopped producing tears for his failed marriage. He says this night was the night and, and Band-Aid fully came off. In this entry, he talked about how a six-month-long process felt like a Band-Aid on his soul and it was being, and it was being slowly pulled off. And how now the Band-Aid was finally off and he felt a wave of relief, like he finally got over me. So after so much of this, he's finally just numb, done. And that happens to people. And now she's obviously, oh, poor me. What have I done? This is on you, honey. You ruined this. Two weeks ago, he had another diary entry. In this one, he tells he tell, talks about how, how he wants to arrange to meet an escort girl. He writes that he doesn't know how to start an affair, but having you know what with someone else other than his wife will be an interesting experience. Yeah, she's probably like, oh, hell no. Oh, no, you're not going to an escort, even though she's been poking up with her coworker for six months. My husband knows my cheating schedule. My cheating schedule? He has planned on meeting this escort sometime when I'm with Nick. I don't know what to do at this point. I don't know. Stop hooking up with your coworker. Sit down and have a conversation with your husband. Okay? Admit what you did. And then and, and, and give this guy the most easy, smooth, amicable divorce in history. That's what you can do to repay your husband. It's over. You have no chance, lady. And if he wants to hook up with an escort or if he wants to go hook up with 10 of them in your bed, he has every right at this point. Now, obviously, two wrongs don't make a right, but you guys get my point. I don't know what to do at this point. I am at such a loss. I'm so ashamed of myself. The, the whole I, keep, I kept telling myself was that no one was getting hurt, that this affair would run its course, and life would go back to normal. Yeah, sure, lady. L- like anybody listening to this story, wherever you are in the world, whether you're here, Japan, Saudi Arabia, India, believes one word of, of you feeling bad, and I n- never thought it would... That nothing would happen, no one would get hurt, and everything would go back to normal. What a load of crap. I never realized the pain and suffering I put my husband through. Like you cared. Come on here. Remember, he's the one who treated you like royalty, like gold. And what have I told you guys about treating your, on my other channel, what have I told you guys what happens when you put her on a pedestal and treat her like the queen, and all, especially when she doesn't reciprocate? That makes her lose respect for you. Now, I'm not justifying her actions, but I'm I, I'm spelling out the ugly truth when it comes to human nature here. And this particular situation, female nature. I've cheated on him so many times and he suffered through it. What can I do now? I'm never going to cheat on my husband again. Yeah, sure. But it's probably too late to have this realization for me. Where do I go? What can I do? I know many of you will say some horrible things about me, and that's okay. But please help help me save my marriage that I ruined. Lady, you don't deserve this guy, okay? You're a piece of garbage. This guy's a good man. He's a weak man. He's a broken man, but he's a good man. And he, and he obviously you know, just didn't know what to do, and he obviously needs some serious help. But no, you're done. Okay, you want to do something? Come clean. Come clean to him and give him the, 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 the easiest divorce in history. That's what you can do. But to think that you're going to get him back through this, no way. Because he's never going to see the same again. He's never going to look at you the same again. Even if you patch things up for the daughter, he's going to, every time you kiss or get hooked up, he's going to picture you with that other dude. And he's never going to trust you. And honestly, you're a cheater. So you're going to think that he's going to be doing something when things don't go right. No, it's done. Okay. What what makes you think you deserve this guy? Like I said, he's a good man, and you you deserve nothing. And by the way, it isn't just his family; their family is being messed up. So is the uh, coworker because she said that he has three kids, so she can go be with him because she's obviously a home wrecker herself. That guy's a home wrecker, and she's a home wrecker. So uh uh-uh, uh okay. This guy needs to move on, and this guy's going to take years to therapy and probably a good mentor and help getting back on track and hopefully he never ends up with anybody like you. You don't deserve him. Not a chance in hell. You deserve to be alone and miserable. Now, here are a few comments to show you that I'm not alone in my view. <clears throat> One guy says, you killed your marriage. You're both you're both basically going through the emotions at this point. There'll be no recovering for this. You can admit you can admit to things now, but I doubt it will do any good. Congrats on being a giant piece of shit. <laughs> Another guy says I don't see how you can save your marriage. You caused him so much pain for so long, and the only way for him to help heal is without you. I don't think you deserve reconciliation at all. You didn't end it. You didn't. End, you didn't end it, and only feel remorse after finding out he knows. I just hope you haven't been broke. You haven't broken him completely. If he is, you deserve whatever karma you're going to get, and then some. You're damn right. 
She only feels bad because she got caught. That's it. Another guy says, <clears throat> you're one of the most, you are, you are one of, if not the most selfish piece of crap human I've had the displeasure of reading about on here. You don't deserve him. Let him go. And the last one says, you're an amazingly selfish piece of shit. You don't deserve to have anyone, let alone a husband whose first whose first thought after learning wasn't rage or fury, but to try and win you back, even if you're not worth it. Even if by some divine providence he decided to stay with you, he will never trust you again. And that guy wrote that in giant letters. Absolutely never going to trust her again. Once trust is broken like like this, it is destroyed forever. You also ruin him for anyone else if he, do, if he does divorce you because he can and will carry those trust issues with him whether he knows it or not. Correct. He finds uh, he finds someone else the least suspicious and the least the least little suspicious thing he's going to flash back to you and your worthless cheating ass. Congratulations for killing a man's soul. Wow, that was tough, but it was warranted. But yeah, he's going to be damaged. And this guy obviously is a relationship guy. He can go through therapy and and obviously some coaching and all that. And still, the next relationship he gets into because he's a relationship guy, that guy hit the nail on the head. Anything that seems off, this guy, boom. You know, and sadly, the way she's describing him also, can you imagine what would happen if this guy got so depressed that he ended up offing himself? I mean, this is terrible, but she doesn't care. Six months. Now, again, we can go back to the whole thing. The guy should have confronted her and all that. And that, that's a whole other subject. But and he obviously needs a lot of work, but she doesn't care about him. And she expects to get a second chance. It would have been one thing. It would have been one thing if their marriage was really bad and they were fighting all the time and all that and there was one slip up, okay, and she immediately went to him and cried and said, I'm sorry, and told him immediately. That would be bad. Don't get me wrong, okay? But that would be one thing if she, again, one time, tr truly one time, and she told him, and, conf and I'll do anything to make this work. I'm sorry, da 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 and, ther and therapy, and this is, even though therapy doesn't always work, and all these things to pretty much do anything to make it work. That would be one thing. But this is six months of never-ending and the only reason is because she got caught. Bullshit. It's over. I wish this guy the best. I wish he moves on. I wish he a good life. Again, good therapy. Just just for him, therapy. And hopefully he gets custody of the daughter and his life goes well. Because And she, karma's a bitch. And karma's going to strike her down. It is what it is. It's, a lot of people don't believe in karma. I do. I've learned it's real. So... All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And, guys, also, if you are on Instagram or local, be sure to check me out, Strong Successful Mail. That's the name of my main channel for you guys that don't follow me on the main channel. If you don't follow me on the main channel, I'll post a link. Uh, by all means, uh, follow me over there. i got a lot of great stories. That story, that channel is more about news articles and the personal stories that guys send me. Here's more on the entertainment aspect, but I think you'll like it just as well. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.